Hi, this is Ian Cole with an IEQA tech tip on measuring VOCs with photoionization detectors. Volatile organic compounds, or VOCs for short, will off-gas from many building materials, cleaners, and personal care products. There are over a thousand individual chemicals that could be classified under the term VOC, depending on your definition. There are laboratory-based methods for measuring VOCs, but in today's tech tip video, I'll highlight an instrument that provides readings out in the field called a photoionization detector. A photoionization detector, which is also abbreviated PID, doesn't provide a breakdown of individual VOC concentrations. The term photoionization describes the process in which a high energy ultraviolet light is used to remove electrons from VOC molecules, giving them a positive charge. The detector reads the ionic charge and converts it to a concentration. PIDs will overcount some VOCs and undercount others. Let me explain. Each VOC has a unique ionization energy, which is the amount of energy needed to remove an electron and give the VOC an ionic charge. You can't possibly calibrate the instrument to thousands of different VOCs all at once, so a single calibration gas is used. The calibration gas, often isobutylene, is selected to balance the undercounting with the overcounting in order to provide an approximation of the total volatile organic compounds, or TVOCs. Because the PID reading is an equivalent of the calibration gas, the device gives an approximate TVOC, not a true measurement. It's also important to note that PIDs cannot detect all VOCs in the air. This happens when the PID's lamp energy is less than the VOC's ionization energy. For example, if the PID has a 10.6 electron volt lamp, it won't have enough energy to ionize formaldehyde, which has an ionization energy of 10.9. Put another way, a 10.6 electron volt lamp will be blind to formaldehyde, not to mention methane and carbon monoxide. PIDs can be a useful screening tool and a great way to evaluate VOC concentrations over time. When understanding their advantages and disadvantages, they make a great tool to have on your tool belt. For more information on PIDs, consider taking the IAQA University class titled Measuring VOCs. Visit the IAQA website for more information.